Yes, Ashimge. Praise the Lord. Yeah, to Ashima na kugiti chungu chiza. We thank God for this beautiful Sunday. Yeah, Imani abanye natwe. The Lord has been with us. Yeah, to Ashima Imani akoto jeze kumsozo wichungu ero. We thank God that you are reaching at the end of the week. No mugi shukome. It's a great blessing. Yeah, the Lord to jeze kujira mwanya mwiza. We're going to enter in a good time. Kama tano yacho. Of our service. Yeah, mnyama tangu du sengi Imani du shimi Imani. Allow me to pray and thank God. Man and Ziza Mani come ye, Father God. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We can't explain your love. You're worthy to be praised. Whatever that is making us to be here is to say that you're holy and great. Say that you're worthy. Say that whatever you did in our lives, we thank you. What you did for the Israelis coming from Egypt. King, that's what you're doing in our time. We are seeing praises in front of us. That's why we are thanking forever we are coming. We are thanking your works, Lord. Let you be praised, Lord. We are dedicating this week to you. Let you be with us and make grace to us. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. We are thanking God for the beautiful service that God is giving us. We are with the servants of God. We are with our pastor, John Jagi. We are with his interpreter, Jonathan Hwari. We are with Nikita Shuti. And we thank for the technician people. And we thank God whoever who is watching us. As you continue to help us, as you help yourselves. So that the gospel of the Lord can reach to you. Remember to subscribe on YouTube. And remember to comment. And you can even like on Facebook. New Life in Jesus Ministries. And it's New Life in Jesus Ministry in capital letter. May God bless us. Let us welcome worship team wherever they are so that they can praise and worship.
Shima. 
You're most welcome again. Uh, worship team, God bless you so much for the great work that you do. You're helping a lot of hearts. As you continue to remind you that they have an uh, evening worship. Every Thursday at 6 p.m. So kindly be with them. May God bless us. As we are going to welcome the word of God. Pastor, you welcome and Jonathan. Most welcome. Amen, amen. Uh, good morning and praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God for this one of day. We are in the first Sunday of the month of July. And we thank God for this month. We are trusting God for great things which will be done by God this month. We have started the second half of the year. And it's our prayer that it will be better than the first half. During the first half of the year, quite a number of things happened. I know many of us, we know since the beginning of the year, there have been so many crises because of what is happening globally. But we trust in God as we start this new half of the year. Beginning with the month of July, the Lord will be doing great and mighty things. We are trusting God for miraculous things happening in our lives. Especially them those who are born again. If you believe in Jesus, and if you are walker with God, I want to tell you the word of God in the book of Isaiah. Chapter 3, verse 10. The Bible tells us that tell the righteous it shall be well with them. It's important if you are righteous, you take that word, believe on that word. It's a word of God. And word of God does not come and uh, it doesn't do what God has purposed it to do. So even as we start this new half of the year, it is sound be well with them those who are righteous. And we thank God for that. We want to go straight to the word of God. And the word is going to minister into your life. Today I want to talk briefly on now we need to operate with the Ark of the Covenant. Mostly I'm looking at if we can allow the Ark of God to speak on its behalf. Actually the theme of the message is let the Ark of God speak now. What I mean it's like we look at the Ark of the Covenant and you understand what is the Ark of the Covenant. You understand the purpose of the Ark of the Covenant. Because the Ark of the Covenant was to signify the presence of 
God with Israelites. Those are the children of Israel knew that God is there whenever they had the Ark of Covenant. They knew the Ark of Covenant was the source of their victory. So they had a praise for the Ark of the Covenant. And so we are looking at how we can let the Ark of the Covenant to speak. I know from, from, from quite a number of months in, the, in, in this year, from, from the month of February, March there, actually from January to June, there are so many other things which I've been speaking. But now we are saying from the month of July, let the ark of God speak now. I know quite a number of things we are speaking. And uh, now we need to change from what was happening to what God is going to do now. Let the ark of God speak now. It is your message, it is my message. That what had happened from beginning of the year until June, some other things were speaking, but now we are changing from those other things to hear the speech of the Ark of God. Read the Ark of Covenant. Read the Ark of God speak now. I, I want to first of all look at the one of God in the, in the book of 1 Samuel. I want first of all to look at what, uh, what, uh, what can be accomplished by the Ark of Covenant. The Ark of Covenant was not, was not just a box. It, it was, was more than a box. It is something which God and to use because it was not just the box they were carrying. Look at what is written in the Bible in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 5. We start from verse 1 to 5. The Bible says, Then the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer to Ashdod. Then the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer to Ashdod. The Philistines have taken, they have taken the Ark of Covenant. It was meant for the children of Israel. It was not to help the Philistines. It was supposed to help the children of God. And we see the, 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 the Philistines have attacked and they have taken the Ark of God. They have taken it to Ashdod. When the Philistines took the Ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon, this and set it by Dagon. They have thought this is the Ark of God is another God who can be compared with their God. They have taken the Ark of God to the house of Dagon. They have taken the Ark of God to the house of Dagon. And they left the Ark of God there with their maid with a man-made God. Dagon was an idol. So they have put the Ark of God where Dagon was. The house is called the house of Dagon. But I want to start by telling you this. They may think because they put the Ark of God in the house Whose owner is Dagon? They might have thought that Dagon is the one to rule here. But God is God. Even if they put the ark of God in the house of Dagon, that cannot make God to be less God. It still remains to be. God. The house belongs to Dagon. But God is 
God, even in the house of Dagon, God has not been induced. I want to say this, even whatever which is happening in your life, it has not reinduced in God. God is still remains to be in God. The things which are happening, they are not minimizing God. He is God. They put him in the house of Dagon. That cannot change him. He still remains to be God. So they have put the ark of God in the house of Dagon. And the Bible says, when they put the ark of God into that house of Dagon, and when the people as John arose early in the morning, there was Dagon fallen on the face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. So they took Dagon and set it in its place again. Maze abanye shidodi wabjutse kare basanga Dagoni ya guye yu wabnye imbere isanduku yu iteka baraye gura wa isubiza aho ya riri. And in the morning, when they came to the house of Dagon, and I said, the owner of the house is called Dagon. And when they came to that house, they opened the house. They found something happened at night. I want to say this. At your night, God, the keep of Israel, he does not sleep, he does not slumber. He works at night. They left the Ark of Covenant with Dagon, and they want to sleep. But I thank God, because when they went to sleep, God did not go to sleep. He sent to me, even at your darkest hour, the keep of Israel, he does not sleep. God does not slumber. At night, the Bible tells me that God was working. Let me tell you, even in that of darkness, Jehovah God has not gone on a leave. He is not on a holiday. He cannot sleep. He is still working. My sister, my brother, whenever you are, maybe around here is darkness. When you look at your ear, it seems to be a dark ear. But I want to tell you, at the night, there is a God who works. Even at that night, at that hour of darkness, Jehovah is working. You may not know what has happened, but I want to tell you, right in that darkness, there is something which God is doing. Because they went to sleep. And when they came out in the morning, they thought, because we have the ark of God in the house of Dagon, Dagon is the one to prevail. I want to talk to you and also to your life. The one to prevail is not the enemy. The one to prevail is not powers of darkness. The one to prevail is not the systems of this of this world. The one to prevail is not that attack of the devil. God is going to work. He is going to work because he is God. It doesn't matter where you have been praised. But I want to say this. If you are operating the ark of God, there will be a miracle. The Bible says, when they came out in the morning, they thought it was a good morning. It was a morning to rejoice. They thought it's a morning to come and see the defeat of the ark of God by the by this dagon. But God is God. He cannot lose in the battle. God is God. He cannot be defeated. It doesn't matter where you put him. He is God. In prison, he is God. In problems, he is God. In poverty, he is God. In riches, he is God. In sickness, he is God. In country, side, he is God. In villages, he is God. He is God in every situation. In the morning they came, the Bible says, when they came early in the morning, there was Dagon. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you even your life. In your morning, there will be a devil who will not be standing up. The way he was left in the evening is not the way is in the morning. I want to tell you, the way things were from January to June, it is not the way the things will be from this July. In July, there is something new which is going to happen. That's a devil. That's a problem. That's a talk of the devil. 
It's going to give way. They will be away now. In Jesus' name. And in the morning they came. And the Bible says. There was. There was. Dagon. Fallen on its face. Hallelujah. Dagon fallen on its face. To the earth. Before. In the ark of the Lord. Dagon. Dagoni is falling down on, on its face. So they had prepared and gone who has even the face. Oh. They are called, called Dagon. They prepared him very well. This is a God made. This is a God made. This is a man made God. But our God, he cannot be made because he alone, he is the maker. He alone, he is the creator. He alone, he is the one who can cause things to happen. That one can be created. But our God, he cannot be created. I thank God to know that we serve one who cannot be created. He only is the creator. So Dagon had fallen on his face. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know they had done his face, but the Bible says that he had fallen on, on his face. Since to there. Before the ark of the Lord. Because the devil cannot be filmed before God. God is the only means to be the conqueror. Hallelujah. Amen. He is not conquering because I've said he is the conqueror. Even before he is the conqueror, he has already conquered. Hallelujah. Now Dagon has fallen on its face before the ark of the Lord. And the Bible says, then so they took Dagon and set it in its place again. Hallelujah. They have taken Dagon. The fallen God has been taken. They have helped this God. God Dagon. To stand again. I am happy to know that. They are helping Dagon to stand. But we don't depend on ourselves to stand. We depend on God. Our God is the one who will give us the stability. You will be stable because of God. God is the one who is going to enable you to stand. It is not you enabling God to stand. It is God enabling you to stand. But their case is different from our case. Their case is Dagon has fallen. Dagon is depending on Philistine. But children of Israel, they are depending on God. They have helped their God to stand. But your God and my God, Jehovah God, if you trust in in Yahweh, if your faith is in Jehovah, He shall enable you to stand again. My brother, young man, you shall stand again. You stand again. That family seems to be going down because of God. Your family will stand again. That business which seems to be going down, it will stand again because God is able to enable it to stand again. So they took Dagon and said, it in its place again. Dagon be put in its place again. And verse 4 says, And when they arose early the next morning, there was Dagon. Hallelujah. So they made Dagon to stand again in the evening. In the evening, before they go to sleep, they left Dagon standing. So, and when they came, when they arose early the next morning, there again was Dagon, falling on its face to the ground, before the ark of the Lord. Now this fall, 
The road is greater than the first one. The first one was just a fall. The second one, it is greater. Because what God is going to do against your enemy is greater than what has happened right now. What the Bible says, this second night, when they came out in the morning, they found God was. Hallelujah. I'm happy to tell you that that night, God will. Work. So the, the, they found Dagon was falling down on its face to the ground before the ark of God, of, of, of the Lord. Now see what the Bible says. The hand of Dagon and both palms of, the heart, of its hands were broken off. On the threshold, on in Dagon, Toso was left on it. What is happening? Now the hand is scattered. Because the Bible tells me in Psalm chapter 68, verse 1, two and three, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. This time the enemies are scattered. Devil now, he has fallen. The Bible says the end of Dagon and put the palms of its hands. Even if Dagon has hands, you know what Dagon has hands. Are the hands. They are hands. So they are hands which cannot help. They are hands only to see. But the hands of God, you may not see them, but you can see the work of the hands of God. That's when God is working. Nobody can understand the way he works. So God he is there at night he conquered again Dagon head is scattered the palms of its hands they are also scattered they are scattered because there is a work we call scattering if you train depend on God if you walk with God faith the pray there is something God will do God will scatter your enemies. He will scatter them. Now the hands and hands are scattered. Hallelujah. The Bible says, verse 5, Therefore, neither the priest of Dagon nor any who come into Dagon's house trend on the threshold of Dagon in Ashton, Ashton to this day. Verse 6 says, But the hand of the Lord was heavy, was heavy on the people of Aston. Can you see on one side the dragon's hands are scattered? They can't work. But on the other side, you see the Bible says, but the hand of the Lord was heavy. On the people of Aston, the hand of the Lord was heavy. Look, one hand is scattered, but the hand of the Lord was heavy. It was doing great things. So what are we looking at? We are looking at when you are buried in the ark of the covenant. If that comes when the ark, the ark will have to talk. And that's what you are saying. Let the ark of covenant speak now. Hallelujah. I need us to operate the ark of the covenant. Look at what is happening in 2 Samuel. Look at what is happening in 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel chapter 6. It's a ring from verse 6. Second Samuel chapter six verse six. The Bible says, And when they came to Nacon's dressing floor, Uzzah put his out his heart to the ark of God and took hold of it for the oxen stumbled. Bajeze kumbuga ihuri rwamaya na koni uza uza arambura kuboko kuramira isanduku y'Imana kuko inka zari zitsikiye Yeah we see the children of Israel turabona abana ba Israeli they have prepared 
and good on the call it and good card a new card bari bateguye igare rishya now they are carrying the ark of the covenant bari bagiye gutwaraho isanduku isezerano and as they are carrying the ark of covenant bari bagiye gutwara isanduku isezerano they are rejoicing bari bishi defend and all the house of israel da widi nabo mu rugo rwose rwa israel they are bring music before the lord bari baho bari rimbira imana and here they are aho bari everybody is happy because they have been able to Get hold of the ark. Because when you get hold of the ark of God, there is rejoicing. There is happiness. When you have the ark of God, you cannot have the ark of God and miss the happiness. Because when you have the ark of God, there is an assurance of victory. And so here they are. They are rejoicing. And the Bible says they came to Nacon's dressing floor. Now there is this son of Abinadab. Haru yumwana rero wa Abinadab. Who is called Uza? Witwa Uza. Uza decided. Uza afatwa. Now I want to stretch my heart. To the ark of God. Kujango ndamire. So that I can help the ark of God. Kujango nyiramire. It seems to be going down. Kujango yasanduka itaza. And this time. Uka wa Uza was thinking. Uza atekereza. I can do it. My way to support the ark of God. Let me tell you, Uza, you cannot support the ark of God. The ark can fight for you. The ark can fight for itself. You should have known the ark of God when it was put in the house of Dagon in Ashdod. The ark of God. Without Uza, it was able to conquer. And even this time, the ark of God is able to conquer. Now Uza thought, because I am son of Abinadab, let me try to support the ark of covenant so that it will not fall down. And when he was trying to support it, the Bible says that God was not happy. And that time, then the anger, that is verse 7, then the anger of the Lord was aroused against Uzzah, and God struck him there for his error, and he died there by the ark of God. Mazura karibu witeka wukonjerez gwa Uzzah. Uiteka mutsinda ho amuho icho chaha. Agwa ahonga ho iruhande gwisanduku yimana. Uza is trying to support the ark. Uza are going to get so that the ark may not fall down. We are going to see how it is going to go. I'm sure if he he did not die, ah, he has to go far. He would have been like some of us the way we behave. Yeah, it is me. If it is not me, ah, he has to go. That church could not have been there. If it's not me, that miracle could not have happened. I am the one who is supporting there. But now, Uza, Uza, who is trying to support it, to support the ark of the covenant. The Bible says God was not happy. And he was struck there by the and, uh, because of this error and he died there by the ark of God. Now the one who thought I'm going to help the ark not to go down, not to fall down. Is dead of the ark falling down. He is the one who fell down. Because the ark of God is going to work now. The ark of God is going to do great things now. Who has died? And immediately, David was not happy. And he started now, even now, trying to behave in a funny way because the Bible says, and David became angry because of the Lord outbreak against Uzzah. And he called the name of the priest Perez Uza to this day. Dawidi ababazgano kuita kasumi Uza nikogu himba ahohano Perez Uza na vujingo nugu. David was afraid of the Lord that day, and he said, "How can the ark of the Lord come to me?" Wamusi Dawidi tini uita kwa nukari ubirati isanduku kui uita kwa yazi wanji. Try to see what is happening. David was jumping some other time because of the ark. Now he says, I can't allow the ark to come to me. It has already, the ark of God has already killed Uzzah. And David is angry. 
Dawidi arababara. And he says now. Arafuga ngubu. Take it to another person. Muijana handi hand. David was afraid. Dawidi ajiruko. He said now. Arafuga ngubu. Let the, not the ark of God not come to me. Le kisandu kiwi teka ni nzehu. And the Bible says in verse 10. Bibi arafuga kumuna ngu watu. So David would not move the ark of the Lord with him into the center of David. But David took it aside into the house of open end of the Gittite. Dawidi yanga gukura yo isanduku yuwiteka ngwa ichure iwe murembo rwa Dawidi. Ahubgo ayinyuza hidya ayichura mumunzu ya obededomu umunye agati. You see what is happening? David has said the ark of God because it has killed user let it not be brought to the to, to the city of David. And so the suggestion was take it to the house of open end of so it has been taken to the house of open end of Look, open end of nobody knows about it. Actually, it's not even one of, one of the sons of Jesse. He is not known anywhere. But the Ark of Covenant has been taken to his house. And taking the, after taking the Ark of Covenant to the house of open end of the Bible says the Ark which was rejected by David. The ark which has already killed Uza. The same ark when it went to the house of open dead. Listen to me, I'm talking about the same ark of God, the same one. It has destroyed Dagon. Dagon is already scattered. It has already killed Uza. Uza is already buried. It, is, it has already been rejected by the king. David says, don't bring it to the to the to the city of David. We don't want it. Let it step up from us. The same mark of the covenant. Because there was a divine connection here. We see somebody called Obededo. It has been taken to his house. Take it there. And people are expecting the way Uza was killed. It will be the same way. That Obededo will be killed. But I want to tell you the ark of the covenant has better news for Obededo. Instead of death, there was a better report. I want to say to you, my brother, my sister, whatever which was happening, it will not continue with you. This is which has killed other people. To you, it will do something. The Bible says, when it was taken to open the door, hallelujah, the ark of of the Lord remained in the house of Obededom for three months and the Lord blessed Obededom and tore his house on the same ark which killed Usia Usa, the same ark which killed Usa, sorry not Usia, Usa Nuko ima imara munzi ya Obededomu umunya gata meza tatu kandu witeka humujisha Obededomu na abo murugorgue ya sandu kuise zerano ya indi ishe Usa this Sebak, it has gone to open the door. And within three months, nine and days, were enough for good news to start now spreading. You know what has happened? How is open the door? Open the door is now a different person. What is happening? The ark which was taken to his house, it has started working for that's what I'm saying. Let the ark of God speak now. It is not open dead of now. It is not anybody. It is the ark at work. It is killed Uza. And he said, as the Bible says, the ear King Uzziah died is a year so the Lord. So in the same way I can say the time Uza died because of the ark. Open the doors, so the Lord. Bavuga ngo umwaka umwami uziya yapfuye mo Yesaya yabo nyimana. Nanya bavuga ngo igihe uzaya faga ishwa ni sanduku yimana. Open the doors, yabo nyimana. There be a uza won't be, you know, the won't be terminated. No won't be removed. Hari uza ugo magukur guaho go. So that the destination. Kujira ngo ahogo magukur. 
the destination of the ark. It was the city of David. But here comes Uza, Uza going to support it. And he died. But that time, the destination now has been changed. Instead of the house of David, instead of the city of David, there is a better destination. I want to talk to you personally. Whatever which was supposed to go to another person, Whatever you are supposed to go to the city of David, if you are there open dead door, wherever you are, I want to say this, there is a change of destination. It was supposed to be city of David, now it is not the city of David. Uzzah has died. Now, because of death of Uza, they are buried Uza. But now, the destination of the earth is to the house of Obededo. Take it to the Obededo. Let them be with the Obededo. And the Bible says, after three months, there was a talk in the city that everyone was saying, and the Lord blessed Obededo. There is a God who blesses people? I want to say in the month of July, even in the second half of the year, there is another operation. This is the operation. Things are changing. The destinations are changing. The evil things which are supposed to come your way, they are not come your way. The good things which are supposed to go to the city of David, they are going to be directed to you, open dead because the ark is able to speak and the Bible says and that is verse where are we? so now it was verse 12 now it was told King David the king is getting news listen to me the king when he is in the city he is getting news that something is happening it was told, it was told, as the Bible says, now it was told, King David. Now it was told, King David. Let your now be now. Now it was told, King David. Faith, now faith is. Now faith is. Now faith is. And now let that now of now faith is be your now now. That now it was told King David. Nuko Babgira Umami Dawidi. Reka Akakanya in Huruza Zibiza Kakanya. Kukavira Wango Dere Quizera. Quizera Kuba Ukwaka Kanya. I'm sure King David must have been having even a state house. Now is Rezako Dawidi Rafite. When he was there in his state house. In Zia Yugan. The people are trying to enter. To bring good news. To come and tell him. What, 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 why are you trying to come here? I have come because I want to talk to the king. I want to tell him what is happening. Do you know the act which killed Usa? The one we left with is somebody called Obededom. Hallelujah. Amen. What has happened? David was told that the Lord has blessed the house of Obededom and all that belongs to him because of the ark of God, not because of working too hard, not because of working over. Listen to me, you don't have to work over time. What you require is to see the princes of the ark of covenant with you. Bamgango uiteke haye umujisha obededomu na wamo rugo webose kubugi sandu kuyimana na wano kubeli milimo yako ze nete nivi kusaba kukwala masa hai chilenga ahuga mila kusaba kubwa ufti sandu kuyimani kakukorela I, 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 I am not against you working, work and work and work but as you work, no working alone does not take you far that is another thing we call back up of the Ark of the Covenant Na gongwa nyawa kora ukore ukore chane Ari kukore menye neza yuko kukore vita hajije Uchene na kufti sanduku iseze As you work Uri kukora Get them back up Ubufite ubufashu Up the Ark of Covenant Gui sanduku iseze rano Backing you up Buri makukusu The Bible says Bibi la fuga ngo that the report has been taken to the king. That open denom and all that belongs to him 
Yuko obededo muna wa murugorwe. I'm being blessed. Because of the ark of God. Because of the ark of God. The ark of God can speak for you. Because of the ark of God. I don't see open dead on going to the king. But other people. Because there will be people. Uh, there are people who exercise the power, the benefits of the ark of God. But there are also people who will be there to go and report what has happened to you. Because of the ark. I don't see open door I'm going to the king. It's people who are going to report to the king that this is what has happened to the house of open door and his households because of the ark of God. They have been blessed. Hallelujah. The report was taken to the king. That God, because of the ark, uh, that God has blessed Obedeno because of the ark of God. And David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obedeno to the city of David with gladness. David aherako arahaguruka ajya gukura isanduku y'Imana kwa Obedeno mu cyo mu rurembo rwa David. Hallelujah. The ark is going to speak again. The ark is going to speak again. Let the ark speak now. What is happening? What the work has been done by the ark of God has been taken. What work? The work which has been done by the ark of God to open the dom and his household. That work. It's not a secret. May God visit you and do great works which will be able to make other people to go and report. Now be careful not to be the person who will be talking of what God has done to the others. Because there are people who want to report to King David. What has happened to Open Dendom? Open Dendom is enjoying the blessings. Is the benefits of the ark of God. But what is happening? It is now people have gone now to report to the king. We thank God. Because when we yield to the Ark of Covenant, that is when we seek and get God and His presence. When we follow God, when we work with God, God has a way of using the Ark of Covenant to give a message concerning you. We shall continue from there next time. And I know God will bless you. Or oh, continue on what will happen when you are the ark of God to speak now during this second half of 2020 in Jesus' name. I am saying we are going to overcome what is happening not by anything else. But now we want to show the devil there is another side of us. It's all not only prayer, prayers. After we pray, we have something called the Ark of God. Let it now work for us. From this July, because of the Ark of Covenant, there will be victory. I want you to pray. Even as we cross now, wherever you are, we grab from this Judai. In the name of Jesus, let the ark of God speak on, it, on its behalf concerning my life. In Jesus' name, I want to pray with you. In Jesus' name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you because you are God who is mighty, who is lifted, who is exalted. Thank you, Father, because what you did to open the dedom, the time the ark was left in his house, there was a divine transformation. What killed Uza? Lifted open dead. What destroyed Dagon? It is scattered Dagon. I declare that is scattering of Dagon. It is going to happen right now. To the people who are watching over us, to the people who are. 
following us. Everyone who can hear this message. I declare the power of God. And the ark of God. The presence of God. Let it bring now. The greatness of the Lord. I scatter the powers and works of the enemy. God will dedicate the month of July. And we declare it is dedicated to you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you mighty Father. Because from now. There will be another face. Even as we enter into this new part of the, the uh, new part this half of the year. It will not just be entering. It will be experiencing your greatness and your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord. We magnify your name. We honor you for who you are. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty one. And we thank you for what you are doing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you so much. Let's so continue that message. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 I'm thanking God also. Oh God is faithful. The word of God says that some believe or trust in chariots. But we shall always trust in the Lord. We thank God for His word. We thank God that He is on our side. We thank God for the Ark of Covenant. May God bless so much. We are winding up our service. As we continue to remind you to subscribe on YouTube. And to even like on Facebook. It's all in written in capital letter New Life in Jesus Ministries. God bless you so much. They've declared blessings on us. We continue to wish you a great month of July. May you get whatever you want. May you get whatever you need. And wherever that you'll be knocking, may you be open the doors. As we continue to ask best blessings on our pastor. There's somewhere that you are coming from and where we are going. God bless you so much. And even his interpreter. Jonathan, God bless you so much. To thank the members of New Life wherever they are. And even those who are helping us on the technical issues. God bless you. Have a great Sunday.